Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My Genre Readings. This reading is for my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So the upcoming week of March 11, 2019, it's 333. <laughs> Y'all are such mystical creatures. Every time I do the air, the water sign reading, like you have cardinal birds coming out, they want to sing, and angel numbers popping up. Like everybody loves water signs. And I'm not a water sign, so it's not it's like... <laughs> I'm being biased, but such mystical, fascinating creatures. Okay, so what are my major themes for my water signs for the upcoming week of March 11, 2019, please? Happy birthday, Pisces. Happy birthday, Pisces. And we knee deep in Mercury retrograde. So if I stutter or open my words, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, one bamboo peacock. What you got? Y'all got a lot of feminine energy out the gate. I see that already. Air signs had all men, <laughs> all masculine. Like four out of their 12 cards were men. Like, so I'm like, y'all deal with a lot of masculine energy right now. But nope, not y'all. Looks like feminine. Okay, water signs. Angel number 167. Look it up. See if it resonates with you. So you got the one bamboo peacock. Maturity, right? Um, She's reflecting looking at herself but oh no 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 that's not your message this week water signs she ain't looking at herself she's not looking she's supposed to be looking at herself but she's not she's looking the other way she's basking in her own grace she's resting on her laurels right yeah she got her peacock she's like i don't need nothing else i have this mirror yeah it's beautiful but i don't need to look at myself right i have everything self-reflection what is that that's a problem that's a problem water signs y'all are dealing with denial oh my gosh denial and we have like the moon in pisces and the sun in pisces so this all makes sense things ain't what they seem told y'all that last week six circles peach feminine beauty right creativity she's she has again she has her prize she's holding her stick it's bearing fruit she already got what she need right what more could i need she does not have a mirror she has proof so you have your peacock older lady looking at the younger lady Right? That could be a rivalry between an older and younger lady. That has come up for you before, water signs. <laughs> what y'all going through? Um, but also a person who refuses to look in the mirror. Right? A person who refuses to reflect and to be accountable for themselves. Then you got a person who figures she has everything she needs. Right? I got everything. I got the fruits of my labor. I don't. She don't even have a mirror, period. So she's like, again, what is self-reflection? I'm doing my thing. Then we have the seven circles insect. A lot of motion, things, um, short terms, things that are not, again, not as weighty as they may seem, things that are not as solid as they may seem. This is an amazing reading already. I can feel the energy. Okay, so and we got two circle suits. So y'all money is looking good. You don't want to look in the mirror to reflect. You don't want to better yourself, right? Because you feel like you got everything. Look at that peacock. Who can afford a peacock? Nobody. <laughs> but you can. So you're like, I don't need to look at myself. I have the fruit that I wanted. Um, the money's coming in. I'm busy. Except the thing is, there's things that you don't know. There's things that are happening around you that you don't see. There are things that are not as stable as they look. Look at this. Look at this. It's These insects are standing on blades of grass. At any minute, they, they feel strong, sure, and they feel sturdy, but at any second, that ant can get to the end of that blade of grass, and what's going to happen to that grass? It's going to bend. It's going to collapse. And what's going to happen to that ant? It's going to end up on the ground. So this is a cautionary tale. Please, please, water signs, be careful this week. Please make sure you're reflecting. You're not getting too cocky um, because some money is coming in and things are going your way. Please. Let's clarify this peacock. Wow. Somebody else involved. You have some new beginnings. So this is good. Okay, so romance, everything is looking right. Everything is on target. Th 33. Um, everything is right. Everything is going right for y'all. This is good. This is a good sign. All of your dreams are coming true. Whatever you're focusing on, it's working. You are on track, right, if, in terms of your physical efforts. Obviously, because look, you got two circle suits. Money's coming. You are bearing fruit, right? You have this expensive peacock, <laughs> these expensive robes. So things are on track somebody else right there could be romance or your objectives are coming together again which is what is yielding your abundance right your good feelings um and then 
one wand entering barriers are being lifted what did i tell y'all that's three out of six cards half of the cards already feminine energy feminine energy water signs right so everything is going right your objectives everything is on track but i'm telling you stuff is not what it seems don't get too cocky make sure that you are you know paying close attention dotting all your eyes crossing all your t's and not getting too cocky please water signs okay let's clarify the peach we got white three circles phoenix east all the cards look good y'all yeah, yeah. at the top like white blank slate new beginnings contracts about to be signed um could be related to your creativity could be related to your dreams your goals projects your objectives that you've been trying to accomplish right it could be something creative if you're an artist or even if you're like a realtor or something like that and you're about to you know sign some new contracts um right close on a house or something like that um hmm i want to see i don't get divinity from this i don't get divinity usually that's really divine card but i'm not getting that this time three circles phoenix again another circle and phoenix rising from the ashes so y'all are at the top y'all are winning water signs i love this but look how proud this phoenix is it's gone through some stuff it's earned its feathers right earned its stripes so to speak everything is good this is joy happiness everything is working out very well for y'all i'm so happy for y'all prayers like remember last week y'all prayers are being answered um and have been look like it's that's past tense east you focusing on yourself this is good also east and west so there is definitely some romance you got east west and you got center it's one other card that will just really seal the deal but even from this i see that there is a lot of feminine energy in your your world and there's some romance everything is working out y'all winning water signs <laughs> okay let's clarify this insect last but not least lotus yep somebody could be having a baby um yep i told y'all look at that fire card the last one i already warned y'all i told y'all no everything is still good don't um don't fret but that warning as the last card i already knew it i knew it okay so the five bamboo lotus right rebirth renewal um birth of a child something like that so this is good because it's saying that you could that you could be you could have a reawakening as a result of all of this stuff is going well for you this is amazing right so you've risen out of the mud you you know you did what you had to do and now you're stepping into a new you you got a new attitude this is brilliant right underneath the white card um so you you have some some divine help again your prayers have been answered then look this is the only male in your whole spread this is baby this is a baby we don't know what that is so yeah so yeah with the loop right that's happiness that's joy um wisdom yeah so again <laughs> wow so the loot um an older guy right just having fun he just wants you to have fun um again it could be your connection birth of a child as a result of the romance that we've already talked about in this spread um or an older guy kind of giving you wis wisdom right like a, a divine um character right that is imp imparting knowledge into you, into your subconscious. But look, look at that. That's what I want to get to. The six wine fire. You have the possibility of burning yourself out. Mental exhaustion. Exhaustion. So everything is is working. And my ear just started ringing. I said that. So please be careful, water signs. Please. Um, everything is working, right? Make sure that you are focusing on yourself. But make sure that you are not getting beside yourself don't get the big head don't get too cocky y'all this this some of this stuff is not what it seems first of all um some of this stuff even if you're winning it doesn't mean that you're not going to be but it just means that some foundations that you think that you have are not as solid as they may seem now so make sure that you are being cautious with your money you're being cautious with your romantic dealings right because it's there you happy you joy be cautiously optimistic don't burn yourself out that's my message to y'all water signs so that's good well congratulations first of all i'm happy to hear that y'all dreams y'all prayers have been answered 
um, and everything is going amazingly. Just don't get caught up. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with Pisces this week because it's Pisces season. All right, so what? how does the general reading apply to my Pisces specifically? Four bamboo cart. First of all, angel number four, look it up. All right, Pisces, so take time to reflect, to think, right? Y'all already do this. I'm not worried about that. Let your abundance come to you. Let the knowledge come to you. So everything that I told you about in the general reading, just sit and peek game. Sit back and watch. Let things play out. Let things unfold. Do not get so high on your horse that you don't realize what's going on around you. It just makes me think of the emperor, the story of the emperor's new clothes or whatever, where, you know, he got sold an invisible suit. And because he wouldn't look at it, right, he refused to, to be accountable and to be honest with himself, he got played, right? He was naked, but somebody told him it was an invisible suit. Don't be that emperor. Let the knowledge come to you. Pay attention. Look around you. Pay attention to your surroundings and see what's really happening. That's the only way that you can ever know if what you're doing is solid, right? If it's long-term or if it's just transient, all right? All right, Pisces. A shy birthday next. <laughs> all right. We're going to do Cancers next. General reading about Cancers. All right, one circles. Pearl. Angel number 10 looked that up, Cancers. Thanks. So, Cancers, this is good. What is she doing? She looking in the mirror. So, this is excellent. She's reflecting. Unlike the peacock who was looking away, the pearl, she's looking. So, she's reflecting. So, Cancers, y'all know. Y'all are looking at yourself and figuring out your role in it, right? Because remember, we have the East card too, right? You're figuring out your role. You are reflecting you are taking accountability for everything even your good right i'm not just talking about bad even good because look pearls at your feet you have abundance you did that cancer you did that continue to reflect continue to examine your role in everything that's happening around you continue to play your part right fair across the board and then you're gonna keep reaping your abundance that's good cancer and last but not least, Scorpio. Hey, stop. So Scorpio, seven circles in set. So first of all, angel number 16, lift it up, Scorpio. Thanks. Okay, so y'all, Scorpio, that message was really, really, really for y'all. Y'all and Pisces specifically. Um, make sure that what you're standing on is not solid, Scorpio. I know it looks like it. Whatever it is, the source of income that you got, the windfall, whatever you're working on and you're winning this relationship, whatever, that's great, right? And you deserve it. Yeah, I do. But some of that, some aspects of it are not solid. Some of them will, are going to cave as soon as you think that you've reached um, the pinnacle of it, right? Because the ant is going to the top of this blade. Oh, I'm heading straight to the top, right? But it's forgotten the fact that it's still just a blade of grass. It's like, oh, I'm strong. I can do this. It's, I'm an ant. It's nothing, right? I can. This is nothing, right? I'm, I'm on my path. But it forgot the very nature of this, the essence of this, the, what it's standing on. This is not a strong foundation, right? I don't care what you've accomplished up until this point. It's not a strong foundation, right? So know that, Scorpio. Please examine, examine your source of wealth, your source of sudden luck, or your source of... Um, the prayers that are answered that you ask for, right? And examine the foundation because you might realize that with this Pisces sun and moon, the things ain't what they say. All right, y'all. Have a good week. Peace out.